I'm Julia Kern and I'm on the U.S. Cross Country Ski Team and today for good housekeeping I'm going to give you a tour of our wax truck for the U.S. Ski Team um, and what it's like to travel in my gear closet through the whole World Cup and Olympic season. Here we go. And so to open this nice door we get to kick it because when your hands are full it just slides on open. And welcome to the U.S. Ski Team wax truck. So as you can see we're in packing mode right now. Um, we're heading to the Olympics, and so everything's a bit of explosion. We gotta pack skis, organize all of this truck. And so what's super unique about this truck is that right now it's expanded, but when it gets packed up, it gets all smushed into one tightly fit by the inch um, truck that then can roll onto the highway. How do we keep over 600 pairs of skis in this truck alone? Well, this is how we do it. We have organized shelves for each athlete. Here is my entire fleet. We store these on each shelf, so when our techs go to pick our race fees, they can look across and just pull whatever ski out they want. So this is super cool. Um, it can store hundreds of skis, and believe it or not, we each have about 40 plus pairs of race skis. You may ask why that is. Well, we have so many conditions we ski in. We have two techniques, classic and skate, so you need separate skis for that. And then if it's freezing cold, dumping snow, sunshine, bluebird day, we need a ski for everything. This is my wax tech, Eli Brown. He's the one who manages my gear closet of all the skis I own, and he is the absolute hero. And having a wax tech and a good relationship is super important. So this is our dream team right here, and he keeps it all organized so that I don't have to do all the work of keeping my skis all up to date and clean and everything. We have these beautiful pieces of artwork made by our team. Um, thank yous from athletes, um, signed poster cards of athletes from the past. This is Jason Cork, our wax tech. Really just artwork all around. So that's probably one of my favorites, just seeing the artwork and the family aspect of the team in the truck. These drawers are filled with waxes all different kinds. You can't imagine how many combinations they have to sort through on every given day. Pack this and go back out, down the stairs. Poles are super fragile. Um, they gotta be stored pretty safely. So they're in this container right here. Here are my poles. As you can see, these are really thin, really light. So any ding will kind of break them. So we wanna make sure we keep them nice and safe in this little box in here. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what it's like to be wax tech in the front. So we gotta step up here. So in here, there's plenty of space. Um, always snacks right here. We make sure we keep the techs stocked for the long drives. Um, they drive days on end sometimes when they have to go from Northern Scandinavia all the way to Central Europe or even further. So um, they drive the truck, they wax the skis, big steering wheel, big space. And then up here, as you come around, right now we're using it as storage, but there's even a bed. And so if they're on long stretches, they can take a nice little nap up there um, when they're taking a break. And so this thing goes everywhere with us. It's the gear closet on wheels. <laughs> so we're lucky enough to be in an apartment. Normally we are in hotel rooms that are pretty small, but we have nice space here. And so starting off with ski boots, most important thing. These are all the shoes I travel with on the road. And so we got my different types of ski boots, some warm boots, running shoes, and my living slippers. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the essentials to travel on the road. So my favorite is the water boiler that is collapsible even, so it packs nice and small. I love coffee and tea at all times, so this thing goes everywhere with me. And then down here are some of my pantry items that I travel with everywhere. Always Tupperware, reusable Ziploc bags, muffins. Huge fan of making muffins. These silicone muffin tins make it incredibly easy to make muffins. Always a bag of tea and some nice creamy European honey. I bring my own coffee grinder, grind my coffee every morning. The best way to make coffee on the road in a small container is this AeroPress. It's collapsible, you can take it apart. Um, you have the full press right there, a mug while you're at it, and a stirring spoon. So this I use every single day with that water kettle. So we have this wonderful pantry snack table made by our chef, Kata, right here. She's prepping lunch right now, um, and we just grab and go at whenever we want. It's super important to stay fueled, so we have everything from trail mix to get the protein, um, pretzels to get that salty snack, bagels, bananas, um, bars for training, you know, we're out there for hours on end, um, zinc supplements so that we stay healthy, um, hydration mixes, and so, Whenever we're get, grabbing a meal, we also grab some snacks to get going and always stay fueled on the road. Over here, we have the recovery station. I am a huge fan of body care. 
um, yoga mat to do some yoga, foam roller, keep the muscles nice and loose. And then this is a nice um, TRX or recovery roller for the IT bands. And here's our bedroom. Most important, pull up bar, because we're doing strength at home too. This is my roommate Haley Sorbel's genius idea, travel idea. It's a clothing line with foldable hangers. So I don't have this this year, but I'm definitely adding this to my closet next year. I have my shelves down here. We usually split with our roommates half and half. Um, so right here I have a few workout shirts, face layers for when it gets cold, jackets for training, um, casual sweatshirt, a few casual shirts, and down here um, some sweatpants and shorts, race suit, leg layers, and some pants. And then down here I have these awesome packable Eagle Creek bags that I love a lot. Um, you can put little things in it, pack them up, they pack nice and tightly. And right here is um, my favorite buff, Julia's Dirty. Um, I did this with Skeeta this year, so that keeps my neck nice and warm all winter long. Um, sports bras, uh, my favorite is the Endura sports bra made by one of my good friends, Abby Draw. And these heated socks, which have been really important in this cold, cold winter that we've had so far. Here are my different Hester gloves, and then those will all pack in this nice flight. Eagle Creek bag as well. So a little packing nuggets, really helpful to keep things organized when we're on the road um, living out of a duffel bag. And this is what it looks like. Everything all packed up, backpack, carry on, and duffel, ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you got to see what it's like to travel on the road for five months as a professional ski racer and into the Olympic lead up. And um, you can follow me and my journey as I go to the Olympics um, at Julia Kern Ski on Instagram and I hope you cheer for Team USA and make sure to also subscribe to Good Housekeeping to see more awesome content.